Bitcoin mining company Binance Limited has today been listed on the Aquis Stock Exchange in London under the ticker BTC. What a coup that was. Binance is run by AIM stock market veteran David Lanigas, who joins us now. David, welcome and congratulations. Uh, first yeah, of all, thank you, uh, I want to talk about why Aquis? I mean, you, many will know you, as I said, as a veteran of the AIM market, but you've chosen to list this here on the Aquis Stock Exchange. Why? Yeah, no, you, you make a comment on AIM. I'm also chairman of and Petro Energy, which is main board listed in London, three Australian listed stock exchanges uh, companies. But, but Aquis is the only market that you can list a new Bitcoin miner on in London at the moment. Um, Argo Blockchain is listed on the LSE. The FCA um, pretty much made a ruling a little while ago that uh, that would be the last one until the FCA reviewed their own policies and governmental policies with respect to Bitcoin and uh, and cryptocurrencies, which you know things are moving along in, in the positive direction. So we decided, Jeremy Eagleman and I have decided that um, that Aquas was the right exchange to list this on at the moment, and uh, we've, you know it's it's been a labour of love for the last year putting the whole thing together. As I said, congratulations, because today is the is the listing. But he did it under the ticker BTC. I can't believe that was still available. That was quite a coup. No, we were, we were talking to our uh, advisors and lawyers the other the other week about um, ticker symbols, and we're going BNZ, um, you know, going through a whole range of things. And I said, well, what about BTC? Is that available? And the, the lawyers and the advisors said, well, we'll get back to you. And the next day, they said no. Uh, the ticker symbol BTC is available, and um, and I think that is a bit of a coup. It's a it sort of focuses the mind on exactly what we do. We mine Bitcoin, and uh, and you know people who buy Binance ticker symbol BTC are effectively buying a proxy into Bitcoin and where they see the future of Bitcoin pricing going. So you yeah, know we're, we're pretty yeah, excited well about that. Why, why, uh, why move into Bitcoin mining? You are, as I said, you, you know, you're a veteran of various markets, as you as you highlighted. But uh, you are a specialist in oil and gas and, and mining. Uh, but here you are now in Bitcoin mining. It's the first time I've ever seen the name Lenny Gas and Bitcoin mining put together. Is that the case? <laughs> no, look, I'm a miner by by profession, so I mine anything. Um, but no, look, I understand Bitcoin very well. I mean, I helped uh, Richard Paulton. Um, put the Bitcoin miners into Valerium. Uh, we bought those Bitcoin miners from Valerium because they want to focus on on the you know the, the final acquisitions of the Gibraltar Stock Exchange. And I don't and I think the ownership of Bitcoin miners in a wallet um, made it a bit more problematic for for Richard and and Valerium. So I said, look, we'll buy those miners. It makes us an operating company. So you know, as we launch today, listed on on Aquis. Um, we have 20 miners spinning in Nebraska. We have five Bitcoins in the wallet. We're not an investment company. We are a Bitcoin miner. So um, you know, our plan is to roll out as many Bitcoin decentralized clusters throughout North America, you know, the USA and Canada, as we can um, over the course of the next year. We see with the, bit, with the next Bitcoin halving in 2024, the previous halvings of the number of bitcoins available on a daily basis, uh, which happens every few years, they halve the amount that are available. Uh, the bitcoin price has exceeded the uh, the previous highs, <coughs> so we see um, bitcoin you know, having quite a stellar run over the course of the next um, twelve to eighteen months. And this is the time we, to, to to start as many spinning machines as we can get, you know, mining those algorithms and taking as much bitcoin as we can get. Yeah, you talk about Bitcoin, but my understanding is you're going into other cryptos as well. Is that the case? We'll look at that. Um, I mean, the, the, the only true um, coin of, of note is Bitcoin. Things like Ethereum, you know, their derivatives on it. Um, there are no other real coins except for Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is our prime focus. We will look at other um, types of cryptocurrency uh, as life moves on, but but really now our focus is 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 Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin, and, conver well Bitcoin and converting Bitcoin, Bitcoin itself, mining Bitcoin, increasing the size of our wallet, 
and every now and again converting Bitcoin into into US dollars or GBP or euros or yen or whatever we can do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, every, every everybody talks about Bitcoin as the, the, the benchmark, of course. Um, but I noticed as well in the notes um, when uh, you uh, talked uh, spoke about this company to the market, um, you're also looking at operations in the DeFi, the decentralized uh, finance space and, and big data space as well in the future. This is moving into some really interesting areas that not many people know about. Um, what are your aspirations? Look, you really need the fundamental ownership of coins to go properly into those spaces. DeFi is a, is a sector that's just growing so large and so fast. I mean, it's, it's almost like yeah, how quickly is AI growing? Uh, and it's becoming you know, pretty much mainstream in a, some, in a number of sectors, even within governments and, 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 and banks now. So because the building blocks of finance, finance are about Bitcoin, Bitcoin mining and increasing our Bitcoin wallet, that gives us the ability as sectors sort of develop to, to really be sitting there looking with our currency base as Bitcoin going, well, where do we really want to go and move this, this company? We want the ability to have flexibility if we need to. Talking about um, Bitcoin mining, I mean, you, you know, it's a, it's a process which people have had to uh, to understand. Of course, it's it's quite energy intensive. There are various different ways of doing it. Whereabouts are you actually doing undertaking this process of, of mining Bitcoin? Right. So at the moment, we have 20 Bitcoin miners spinning in Nebraska. Uh, on a contract with Compass, which is a big data center owner. I think they've got about sort of 15 to 20 data centers throughout the USA and Canada. Each data center has its own sort of power costs. I mean, if you're close to hydro, your power cost is cheap. If you're you know, generated from nuclear, it's cheap. If it's generated from coal and gas, it's a bit more expensive. And obviously, uh, with the price of, of power at the moment, you know, prices are going up and have been for a while. The, the units that we bought from Valerium uh, have a fixed price um, US cent component. I think it's about six or six and a half cents. Um, at the moment, we're going to pricing on about 15 centers in North America, and we're getting variances between sort of six cents and 8.5 cents per unit. And typically what you do is you lock in with your data center, your, your, your electricity price, whether it's a one, two, three or five year contract. Uh, and they install them and manage them for you. So, yeah, I mean, each one of these machines consumes 24-7, you know, somewhere between three and three and a half kilowatts, you know, nonstop. So, yeah, they're, they're very energy intensive. Um, yeah. And the next ones we're actually looking at, um, you know, we're, we're choosing to sort of, um, we'd, we'd like to announce our next acquisition of multiple size of what we've already got. Um, and we're getting prices sort of around about the six to six and a half cents on long-term contracts. And the other thing we're focusing on is if we can if we can get our electricity from as much renewable as we can, we'll focus on that as well. Yeah. Very very briefly, share structure. My understanding is between between you and uh, Jeremy um, Edelman, who I think is what the finance director is, and that you own the majority yeah. of shares. What what's the long-term prospects? I mean, you're obviously trying now to engage with the retail. Um, space to get investors on board. Um, what, are, what are your long-term plans in terms of share ownership? Well, I mean, Jerry and I control a lot, a lot of the company. Um, Clear Capital did an amazing job um, raising some funds. Um, so pretty much the entire shareholder base that's free float sits within Clear Capital's book. Um, you know, Jeremy and I and a number of others who, who put this whole thing together are locked in, you know, as is the rules. So, you know, We've got a very tight structure. Um, you know, build the structure, build the number of Bitcoin miners, and and see where we go. You know, the world's our oyster on it, really. Yeah, in, 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 indeed. Um, rest of the year, what are your priorities now from here on in? What what's what's the most important, most pressing issue? I would like in the next. I would like in the next couple of weeks to announce a big expansion of our Bitcoin portfolio, the Bitcoin spinning portfolio. So that is our total focus as of this morning, you know, whether it's next week or the week after or the week after that. If we can get to a thousand miners, at the moment there's 20 miners in the portfolio. If we can get to a thousand BTC mining machines operating in North America, the USA and Canada by the end of the year, 
that would be fantastic. If we can get to more, it would be even better. Yeah. Look, David, we'll, we'll leave it there. But thanks indeed for joining. It's a pleasure to be able to catch up with you again uh, on this uh, new venture. That's David Lenigas. Uh, he is uh, the man that's brought Vinance Limited uh, to the market through the Aquis Stock Exchange.